Hey, good morning, friends. Happy Monday. It is, uh, what is it? November the 18th, 2019. Monday morning. It's a brand new work week for most of you. Cheers. Let's put down some coffee. It's uh, approximately 8.30 a.m. on a Monday morning here in beautiful Tower City, Pennsylvania. And it is cloudy, as you can see in my uh, kitchen window right over my shoulder there. Uh, well, I hope you guys had a nice weekend. Mine was pretty good. I had my granddaughter here, you know, for a weekend, a.k.a. Uh, the Bullet, also known as Brianna. Had a great time with her. Took, took her out to, uh, she didn't get a chance to see the motorhome, so I took her out there, uh, Yesterday, um, yesterday afternoon, before we uh, did some traveling, and I opened up the motorhome, and she went inside it, and of course I went inside and started the motor up and all that good stuff, but uh, she looked at it, and she goes, wow, Pap, I can live in here forever. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move over here and just live in a motorhome forever. I said, well, you better talk to your daddy and Mimi about that because you got school. <laughs> but uh, she really liked it. <laughs> oh, and then she said, you know what? We should make a trip to Florida, Pap. I said, yeah, we should. I agree. But I'm going to need at least $600 just to drive there. At least one way, 600 Then I'll need another 600 to drive all the way back to Pennsylvania, and that's not including food and a camping spot. She goes, yeah, but we could have a good time. Oh, yeah, we could have a good time, all right. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, kids say the darndest things now, don't they? <laughs> but anyway, um, what did you do for, uh, on your weekend? You know, if you did anything special. Let me know. Send me a private message or uh, put it in the comment section here if you'd like. Uh, my four-legged fur baby, he's uh, sitting down there uh, on the kitchen floor. Uh, he's kind of stirring around looking up at me right now. What did we do over the weekend? Oh, yesterday we went to, uh, in the afternoon, from about 2 until 5 o'clock, we went to uh, a... Uh, fundraiser over at the the well Williamstown Fire Company and it was a it was a really a, a great time and uh, they made uh, quite a bit of money for this fundraiser you know they had a band there called uh, whiskey shooters and uh, they were a real good country band I mean a, a mixture but uh, Definitely leaning more into country music than not, but uh, they did some Jimmy Buffett and things like that. But it, they were really good. Um, I enjoyed myself. Had a couple of uh, adult beverages. Brianna was there, and uh, um, since it was an afternoon affair, uh, uh, kids were allowed in there also, you know. But uh, she was up there uh, on the dance floor dancing with uh, her... Uh, uh, other pap, okay. Um, he was there. Uh, I think she calls him Pappy Ed. He was there and he was dancing up a storm with Brianna, you know. But they had a good time. I had a good time. Carol was along. She had a good time. I bought some 50 50s and, you know, contributed to the fundraising and all that. And, but, uh, like I said, it was a, a real good time. They had specials on, uh, uh, um, you know, chicken wings and uh, all kind of munchies like that. So uh, steak sandwiches, I think they were flying out there. Yeah, it was a great time. All right, enough of that. Uh, what did I do on Saturday? Oh, I made some chili. Um, and it turned out really good. I was really impressed with it. I uh, made it just a little bit differently this time around. I don't like a real spicy chili. Well, I shouldn't say I don't like. I do like, 
but my belly does not like any kind of spicy foods anymore. I have a, a medication that I take once a day, <clears throat> excuse me, for uh, my uh, acid reflux and things like that. But if I uh, <clears throat> have any kind of spicy food, boy, it just creates havoc with me, you know, about uh, 10 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, it just starts stirring up and the heartburn just kicks right in. So uh, I kind of got away from the spicy foods. Every once in a while I'll cheat and I'll have some, but then I know that I'm just going to pay for it in the evening. And even though uh, I take my heartburn pill, I'll make sure I have some uh, Rolaids or Tums or whatever uh, over-the-counter uh, antacids. I have in the house. I'll have some sitting next to me. Uh, that way, when the heartburn starts to act up, I'll, I'll just pop it and chew it. But the way I made this chili, uh, the standard way, at least in my book, uh, I browned up my ground meat. I got some uh, kidney beans, uh, two cans of those. I put those in, and then I got uh, the packets of uh, McCormick's. Uh, uh, chili seasoning, uh, mild, and I, I put two envelopes of those in. I had uh, probably maybe a pound and a half of uh, ground meat, and it says uh, to put an envelope in per pound. Well, I only had a pound and a half, but I used two packets, and it uh, it seasoned it up real nice. And then I put in some uh, uh, diced tomatoes. I put that in, and I wanted to put some um, uh, tomato soup in. I was told to put tomato soup in it, and uh, unfortunately, I forgot to pick some up, and I'm looking around the house here, and I didn't want to make another trip down to the grocery store for just a couple cans of tomato soup, so uh, we uh, took out my tomato juice, and I put that in. And I'll tell you what, it turned out real good. If you haven't done that yet, try uh, making your chili with tomato juice. Now, the next time around when I make it, I will make it with tomato soup. I have, I have never done that that way, but I'll, I'll try that out. And, uh, oh, and I chopped up some, uh, you know, diced onions and I put that in. And I uh, added a little bit of, a little bit more of garlic powder in it and that was about it but it, it was really good um, whatever your recipes are for a good chili a mild chili if you have one send it my way and I'm always looking for recipes for a good chili especially around uh, you know this time of the season when it starts to get cold and damp and ugly out I like a, a good uh, bowl of chili or a, a good um, uh, chicken corn soup. I enjoy that also. Um, eventually down the road here I'll be making up, a, or I should say Carol, will be making up a, a pot of uh, pea soup for me. I really like my pea soup. Yes, I do. All right, enough of that, okay? So uh, let me know uh, your recipes if you have any. Send them my way, whether it be chili or a, 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 a mixture of a nice... Uh, hearty uh, soup, okay? But it's got to be a, a meat-based soup. I'm not one for a, a vegetable soup. A vegetable beef, yeah, I'll have that, but yeah. Okay, uh, the three-day weather forecast over here in beautiful Tower City for November the 18th. Uh, today, it's going to be a high of 45, and it's cloudy. Uh, the low was 29. Tuesday over here in Tower City, the high is 48, the low is 31, partly cloudy. Wednesday, here in Tower City, the high is going to be 46, the low is going to be 32, partly cloudy again. So we've got three, you know, so-so days. Uh, but then I heard that come Saturday, there was a, just a little bit of a snowflake on the weather report, so uh, got to watch that, you know, I don't want to pull it up right now because that's too far in advance, but uh, from what our weather 
person is saying there's a chance for snow over here in uh, Tower City or Central Pennsylvania, however you want to look at it. Three-day weather forecast for, let's go to uh, Tucson, Arizona. A buddy of mine lives down there. Um, someday I'll, I'll get down there to see him. Tommy, Tommy Lineweber. And if you're seeing this, Tom, how you doing? Tucson, Arizona for Monday, today. The high is going to be 85 degrees. Oh, I'm so jealous. <laughs> uh, Lowe's was 58, and it's going to be sunny today in Tucson, Arizona. Tuesday in Tucson, the high is going to be 73, low is going to be 60, and thunderstorms. Wednesday in Tucson, Arizona, the high is 67, the low is 52, and showers on and off. So that's your three-day weather forecast for Tucson, Arizona. And today, November the 18th, is National Princess Day. If Brianna was here, she'd be my princess. Yes, she would. So uh, uh, w your little uh, granddaughters or daughters, you know, uh, uh, treat them accordingly today, okay? Because today is National Princess Day, you know. Um, do something nice for them, you know. Take them out for a ice cream or a, uh, take them out to dinner if you want, you know. Make it their special day today. The number one country song right now <laughs> is called The Get Up. And I uh, played it a few minutes ago before I started doing this video. Uh, it's called The Get Up. It's, it's pretty catchy. I like it. I don't listen to a lot of country. I should listen to more of it, but uh, I haven't. Uh, I got away from country music uh, a couple years back, unfortunately. Or fortunately, however you look at it. But uh, The Get Up. Uh, check it out on YouTube. Uh, it's a catchy uh, little, it's a line dance song, I'm telling you. And it's by Belanco Brown. B-L-A-N-C-O-B-R-O-W-N. Belanco Brown. And it's called The Get Up. So check it out, y'all. <laughs> what else we got? Uh, birthdays today. Let me put down some caffeine first. Uh, uh, birthdays today. Damon Wayans, Damon Wayans Jr. He's 37 today. Uh, his net worth, of course he's an actor, you know that. His net worth today is, as of today, $35 million. That ain't too shabby. And uh, Megan Kelly, remember Megan Kelly? How she got blackballed? That's just my opinion, but uh, she's 49 years young today. Her net worth, not too shabby, um, $30 million for Megyn Kelly. Considering, uh, as far as I know, she's still gainfully unemployed. I could be wrong on that, but uh, not bad. And Jameson Parker, if you guys and gals remember him. He was best known for uh, the uh, TV series, Simon and Simon. Remember that show? Back in the, the 80s, I believe it was. He's 71 years young today. Happy birthday to him. And his net worth, $500,000, which surprises me. That seems really low for, you know, actors. But uh, he's uh, 71 years old today. His net worth... Like I said, it's five hundred thousand dollars. Jameson Parker of Simon and Simon. That was a great show. I liked that show. And I did a little research on him when I was trying to find out his net worth. I didn't realize that uh, somebody tried to kill him. <laughs> you can check that out. You know, that was back in I think nineteen ninety two. I think it said, but the the guy was up for attempted murder charges. You know. <laughs> And today, right now, over here in Tower City, it's 35 bone-chilling degrees on Monday, November the 18th at 8.30 a.m. It's 35 degrees here right now. 
That's all I had to say, folks. You have a great Monday today. I will talk to you all later on, the good Lord willing. Let's put down one more swig of caffeine, and you guys can start your day, and I'll get on with my day. Cheers in Astrovia. Ah, that's it. All right. Oh, yeah. If you can, uh, we, we, we got a phone call last night. Well, we didn't. Carol got a phone call. And uh, she went outside to, to talk on the phone. And usually when she goes outside to talk on the phone, it's a private conversation, which I understand that. And she walked in and she was crying up a storm. When I see the tears, I know, uh-oh, bad news. So I got up real quick. I said, what's wrong? Well, her, one of her co-workers, um, her co-worker's son died suddenly yesterday, apparently. Massive heart attack. And I think she said he was either... 33 or 38 years old, you know, so uh, we'll say his name is uh, Rob, all right, so if you could uh, kind kind of uh, keep Rob in your prayers and thoughts, you know, say a little something for him and his family, I would appreciate it, you know, love your family and your kids, because we are not guaranteed tomorrow. Remember that. All right. With that being said, have a great day today. I'll talk to all of you guys later on. God bless you. I love all of you. On three, I'm going to punch you out. Good morning, Barbie and Ken. Raymond, Roy, Mary. Good morning. RJ, Chrissy. Mary. Good morning. I love you guys. Tina, I love you. Good morning. Cheryl, how you doing? All right, I'm three. I'm going to punch you out. Have a great day. Pray to your God for peace on earth. One, two. Smile, folks. Here we go. Big smile. You're going out.